All right, we are back here with another You Decide game, and we're going to be doing Insanity this time on Grafton, so let's see. I will give my observations of the ghost. Won't tell you specifically what it is, but we're going to try to find it. But you're going to be the one that guesses. And at the end, I'll go over exactly when we eliminated what ghost as well to help you better learn the ghost ability. So right now, all I'm trying to do is just find the breaker. Thankfully, we didn't have to go far. It's right here. Now, the reason why I'm going to turn on this breaker first. I probably should have took a sanity pill. I did not think of that. If it's a Thay, we could be getting hunted right now. Uh, so maybe it's not. Well, I say that. I told you just what that ghost was. But usually, I don't play insanity a lot, so I forget. Your sanity starts at 75. So we're going to take one now. I'm going to bring all of these items into the house. Just like this. And I'm going to let time for the house to warm up. Thermometer to go to temp. And we'll be back here uh, momentarily. All right, so we are in here. I'm going to take a thermo, you, and maybe do I want to take a UV? I think I'll just take the UV. So let's see what we can find. Um, go around. Thankfully, the ghost room should be sufficiently cooled down. So we want to be looking for an instant drop with the thermo to help find the ghost room. We'll likely maybe also see our breath first before we see the thermo drop considering how cold the room should be by now. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be anywhere around here. You know, I didn't take, like, a huge listen for the items. I do want to turn this off because I don't want to risk tripping the breaker. So let's close these. Where is the stupid light here? Okay, there it is. Nothing looks disturbed. and You know, you don't have to take in the items before coming to the house. It's just something I've been doing recently just to kind of help find the ghost room quicker. It seems like a fairly good method to me to, to find it uh, rather quickly. I don't hear anything downstairs. So I'm kind of curious. So it might not be around here. I've never had the ghost room be in this bathroom, so chances are high that it would not be it. I haven't seen my breath either. My gut would tell me that the ghost room is going to be upstairs. Do you have a hiding spot right here? I really like this hiding spot. Even though I guess the ghost can get line of sight of you for a ways away, but at least it's fairly easy to get into. Okay. Let's squeeze through here. Nothing. Yeah, I haven't heard anything down here, so it's probably either going to... It's going to be somewhere upstairs. Somewhere upstairs it is. That's fine. That's fine. So let's see. Let's turn this light on. Is it going to be hallway? Is it in here? Why is there light in here? Makes no sense. We are seeing a pretty steep drop. Do we see our breath? <laughs> yeah, I do see a turned over plate. So is it right here that's the ghost room? Yeah. See our breath here now. Okay. Um, do we see any UV? Now, chances are high we might not have... Got it. I'm going to go ahead and open up these doors all the way. That fan is on. We don't have the trusty chair. Rip the grafted chair. Did you just... I just... Did you... Did you... Just... No. Fan's going to put me to sleep. I sleep with the fan. I have to. I have to. It just helps drown out noise. Helps drown out noise. Okay. Ghost? Are you trying to you trying to go to sleep, ghost? What do you do? Still EMF two. All right. You, uh, anybody out there sleep with the fan on as well? Let me know. Let me know. All right. So did this. I'm gonna go ahead and take some sanity just to be safe because I would like to try to get our piece of evidence. But a good thing, like I mentioned, with when it comes to uh, no evidence, not no evidence, insanity kind of treat it like like no evidence you don't want to be like overly focused on that one piece of evidence do what you can to try to eliminate ghosts um in the meantime thank you i wanted to turn off the light but the ghost did it for me what a kind ghost 
What a kind, kind, super kind ghost. So, I don't see any ghost orbs, which is a pretty, pretty good thing so far. Uh, what did you just touch? Ghost, did you move rooms on me? Please don't. Okay, I think you just interacted with something through the wall. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, take you, you. Dots are going to be a pain with the tier 1 dots. At least the range increase has been rather nice. You you have been, like, over here, so I kind of feel like putting you on in here. I don't know which way we want to go with that. Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Interesting, interesting. So, if you've watched the previous you decide, you will know that we actually got ghost riding then as well. Actually got ghost riding then as well. So, it's good. You might have fresh knowledge on your mind. What kind of fresh knowledge? Well, let's take a look see here. With what we got. So, fresh knowledge. Ghost riding. Told you there was two ghosts we could rule out right away on insanity with ghost riding. You remember what those two ghosts were? And I'm willing to rule out another one based on how early we got that ghost event. And the fact that it wrote in the room when we were right in front of it should easily rule out another ghost as well. So we should be able to rule out three ghosts right now. Do you know which ones they are? Not a spirit. Though. You Spirit is still possible. We don't rock it. I just didn't want it to be circled. Hate spirits, by the way. Their tests are just super, super annoying. Super, super annoying. Alright, I'm going to put it on my end while I keep track of this. And then we can try to figure out exactly what ghost we need. Now, last time the ghost was rather kind to us. We were able to eliminate one early. We have not been able to eliminate that same one yet. So, let's do a couple things here now. Uh, might be safe just to take some crucifixes, considering how some of these ghosts could hunt you rather early. Where's the other one? They blend into the ground so, so well. So, so well. I'm horrible right now. I don't even remember. Did we turn on this light? I don't remember turning on this light. And that's important. I don't remember doing it. Uh, I'll just stick it all there. Take a picture of you. Take a picture of you. Can't remember if I did or if I didn't. Where since I don't know, keep it at that. Um, all right, let's let's create a good old pile of objects here. Look at that. Put it right like pong or something, you know, ponging right together. That was a very cool thing I did. Very cool. It's kind of annoying to stack these items, but so be it. Maybe the ghost likes beer. We won't know until we try. What is in here? I can grab you. Ooh, the bone. I might take a picture of that, actually. I might take a picture of that. That might be pretty good. Might be pretty good. I'm not here to try to get the objectives, get a perfect game, nothing like that. If it happens, it happens. Uh... That's not my number one priority. <sighs> Can take pictures of that. All right. Let's see. Oh, I probably could have. I can't take anything out of there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's unnecessary. That's unnecessary. Jesus, ghost. Okay. Okay. I was trying to think. I know I did not turn on that light in there. 
I would have had no reason to. All right, disturb salt a photo incoming or an interaction. Nope, three star ghost photo. Okay, cool. Thank you for being cooperative, Mr. Ghosty. And thank you to the Phasmophobia photo system for being such an amazing cooperative thing. It's, isn't it great when uh, the photo system works as intended? I know I like it. Okay. Grabbing these things. Do we need to grab this much? Is it a bit overkill? I mean, if this thing explodes, I want to see the biz biggest explosion known to Phasmo kind. I don't know if Phasmo kind is a thing or not. We're just going to say it is. Is that salt misplaced? Maybe. 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 Oh, yeah. Where's my thing? Which door did you touch? This one? Alright. That works. That works. Now where's our bone? <sighs> How many more pictures do we need? Two? We've got all three stars so far? Alright, that's good. Is that helping us with the ghost? No, not really. Not helping us locate the ghost at all. Okay, we can take our final two photos. We need to repel, escape, and prevent with the cruci. Alright, rather well. Rather well. Better good, better good. Alright, um. Thankfully here for uh for a miling test, it's it's pretty easy if you remember what a miling test is. This is a much better map to do it on than the, than the last one we had. Um, pretty much getting this combination, hunts are going to be like one of the biggest ways to kind of rule in or out ghosts at this point. So, do we want to get hunted? Do we want to do this fast? It has not messed with this pile much at all. Uh, do we have the, the, the crib open in here? You know? We do not. Do we have... Uh, lame. Lame ghosty. Ghosty, ghosty, lame. Alright, our thingy is untouched. I think the best thing to do here is just going to be to get hunted. Uh, then I'll do is place you down. Place you down. And let's grab you, grab you. What else do we want? What else do we want? I don't know. I mean, we could listen into the paramic, I guess. I do think that this is just going to be the best way kind of do anything. So let's see how well it goes. This is like the one time it'd be really good to have cursed possessions and in insanity. I don't know why they took it away. Just to get your your sanity down faster. And it's it's one of the big reasons and hopefully with this you decide series you kind of see how important hunts are and sort of at understanding hunts footsteps looking at the ghosts timing of hunts um, all those are very very good at eliminating ghosts and it's why i say especially like heading into nightmare even like try to get good at it on professional right like in your games do like what we're doing here I, if we wanted to be safe, we probably should put a crucifix down on us because the ghost can still event on top of us and hunt there and kill us. But we're going to hope that doesn't happen. But it's it's a very good thing just to get in the habit of, like on your professional, intermediate, or even amateur games, just start making it a habit of, okay, I'm in hunting range. Let me just go into my hiding spot. Let me just start listening. Let me, let me get a feel for what the footsteps are. I'm not going to lie. I'm not good at when ghosts are chasing me listening to footsteps either. I'm not going to lie to say, oh, that sounds, maybe it'll be like, oh, that sounds kind of fast or that sounds kind of slow. But with line of sight, speed up if it sees you, definitely a lot more difficult, which is why I give yourself that safety net of, okay, I know the ghost room is here. Let me try to go away from it. 
to where I can be in my hiding spot and let me listen and just start listening to the footsteps of the ghost. It's going to save you um, so much time, especially in eliminating ghosts, because I said, just about all of these ghosts have hunting traits. Uh, you know, when when looking at these, like the the spirit. I mean, I know what. Should I go in exactly like you know, spirit, demon, smudge? How long it hunts um, until it hunts again? That's your test for for those really. Along with super early hunts. You know, Pulte, Revenant, Myling, Moroi, Dio, Thay, all those are determined by hunting traits. All of them. And that's why, while well, I was talking about there with the uh, thingy, we should probably go get. Alright, I want, I want to hit you because I want to lose the sanity. Where's my cruci? All right, hopefully. Has not moved ghost rooms, which I think is more of a good thing than bad, but. Is it hunting? It was coming back here. Uh, it did not do much to us. Um, did we get each objective? No. We should have smudged it, though. We should have smudged it. I'm just curious about... Did the ghost change rooms or not? Because I honestly have like no idea. Now, did you pay attention to the footstep speeds, by the way? Did you pay attention to it? What are your thoughts on it? I have my thoughts. But that's of course the the big thing. So now let's see when it hunts again. So we are at a minute thirty on the smudge timer. Smudge timer was not. So I guess it did change rooms on us, interestingly enough. Apparently we were in the ghost room, that's kind of spooky. I'm gonna get caught up on that damn chair and that thing's gonna kill me. Do you all know what the ghost is? I am just gonna say that I hope you do. So that was, of course, a Thay. So here's gonna be some of our options, how we ruled out some of these ghosts early on. First, with the ghost event happening so early and the fact that we got ghost writing with the ghost in the room, we'd know that we could eliminate a shade. Since we did get ghost writing as our piece of evidence, Moroi's and Diogen's both have forced evidence of spirit box when playing with one evidence. Therefore, we knew it would not be those. The ghost did in fact turn on the light, therefore we can rule out a mare. It wasn't really messing with the pile, so I was good enough to kind of go ahead and rule out a poltergeist. Next again, it all had to deal with the footstep speed during the hunt. To me, that first hunt sounded slightly slower.
So I was going ahead and thinking it was a Thay. Just wanted to confirm the next hunt and it did not increase speed and line of sight. It was slightly slower. We knew it was a Thay. Let me know in the comments how you did. You click or tap the screen now. If you still would like to do more of these, you decide challenges. Thank you so much to all the channel members for the extra support. It truly does mean a lot. Thank you everybody for watching. Happy hunting. We'll see you in the previous You Decide.